Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to use React.js to build blockchain applications. All right, so before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And if you wanna learn how to become a highly paid blockchain developer, then you can join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So let's talk about building blockchain applications with React.js. All right, so really quickly, if you're not familiar with React, React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, all right? So why do we need user interfaces for blockchain, okay? So a lot of the apps that I teach you how to build in this channel and other, you know, blockchain applications, dApps, dApps, whatever you want to call them, um, rely on smart contracts, right? And you can talk to those smart contracts in a lot of different ways, but one really popular way is to connect the smart contract to a user interface, right? I've got several different tutorials on how to do this on my YouTube channel. If you go to my website, you can find plenty of tutorials on how to do this, like uh, you know this blockchain application tutorial. Uh, I had the code for that pulled up here a second ago. This is basically, you know, show you how to build a to-do list on the blockchain. The back end is a smart contract and the front end is a user interface, okay? So we need user interfaces to talk to smart contracts, okay? And that's what React allows us to do. It allows us to create a user interface that will talk to the smart contract, okay? So, you know, you can build that user interface a lot of different ways. React is a really good way of doing it. It's the one I like. It's very popular in the blockchain ecosystem, particularly with Ethereum. And I'll, for lots of reasons, which I'll kind of go over in this video. So first is, you know, React is a component-based library. So basically, you get to organize all your code into, you know, components, which are contained in their individual files. You can see examples of that, like down here. Here's a simple component. This is just like a component that returns a message, like hello, right? And it accepts some sort of variable value, like your name. And this is an example of a component. And you're able to, you know, create a bunch of different files that hold these components. So if you look at a website, even like, you know, this one, this React website that we're on right now, this might be broken out to a few different components. Like this navigation bar up here might be its own component. Um, this hero section might be a component. Um, you know, this row might be a component or maybe just this entire content section, right? And the great thing about components is that they are reusable, right? Um, so you see this learn once, right anywhere. Uh, well, that's actually for a different thing. Pardon me. But components are reusable. It's really nice. So if, if you created a component that does a specific task, then you can reuse it in multiple places, right? So a certain example on this website, even right here, see this like live JSX editor. I don't know exactly how this website's written, but you could write this inside of a React component, right? If you wanted to show code on this website, which it's shown in multiple places, right? You can see these multiple instances of a uh, live JSX editor that shows the co source code here and the result on the side. Then that's uh, a great job for a React component. So yeah, that it's a component-based library. That's kind of what components are. They're the basic building blocks for your uh, client-side applications with React. So another thing that React does allow you to manage component state, right? So what's what does component state mean? Well, you know, all websites um, that have any kind of behavior or store any kind of data need to track the state of the website. You know, for example, uh, you see this. Uh, to-do list right here. This is a really basic to-do list. You can add an item, uh, say item one, and then we'll do item two. All right, add that to the to-do list. Well, th how do we know how many to-dos are on this to-do list? Well, that's governed by the application state, right? The application state tells us how many to-do items are on this list. And whenever we add a new one, it updates the application state, okay? And so React handles that out of the box. Um, with you know its own state tracking mechanism okay um so that's kind of a general overview of what react is you know it allows you to write your html and your uh, javascript code all in the same place so whenever it renders components you can see this div inside of here it has these curly braces that are evaluating javascript inside of it and you know this div uh, this html markup is even uh nested inside this return uh, of this render function for a React component. Okay, that's kind of overview of what React is. So, let's talk about how to use them in blockchain applications. Um, I, you know, have done this several different ways. Um, I, you can see several tutorials on my channel about how I've built things with uh, React. 
And it, I show you how to get started with that. Like, if, for example, you can look at this ETH to-do list that I have a full-length tutorial on my website. I showed you how to do that here. Um, here's the source code for that. I also show you how to write this front end with React as well. So in this initial tutorial, we just write the basic front end with JavaScript. Uh, nothing fancy. You can see here. Uh, sorry. Go back. I'll go to the source and go to the app.js file. Uh, you can see, you know, just some basic vanilla JavaScript written inside of here. And in the second tutorial, I actually refactor it and write it in React. Okay. So I'll show you, if you do both of those things, it'll show you why React is very useful if you haven't used it before. So inside of this file, I basically just create an app that governs the entire client side of the application. So whenever we write this, it's just a basic to-do list, a lot like this one uh, right here, where you just add items to the to-do list, item one, you know, and then item two. All right, but in our tutorial, you know, this is actually written to the blockchain. It gets stored inside of a smart contract on the blockchain. So there's a lot of JavaScript that needs to be written in order to do that. Um, it does a lot of things like it connects uh, to the blockchain with this Web3. It loads your account on the blockchain with this function right here. It renders out the entire application uh, with this function right here. And it, you know, renders uh, all the to-do items with this function, et cetera, et cetera, right? So the, there's several advantages that do, you, know, you get when you do this with um, React instead of just vanilla JavaScript. So I'll give you some examples. So inside this vanilla JavaScript application, you know, we're using like basic jQuery to um, uh, update the DOM, right? Um, and that can get kind of messy, right? If you've ever built complex applications with jQuery, you know, there's some things that are left to be desired when you're managing the uh, state and putting things on the DOM, things like that, All right? So React has another library, React DOM, that makes a lot of this a lot easier. And you'll see a lot of stuff uh, where we're doing like, you know, managing on-click handlers for uh, adding items to this to-do list. And if you go check out the React version of that uh, tutorial, you'll see that a lot of that stuff just gets, gets easier, right? And if you do this both ways, you'll see why React gives you such a strong advantage to building, uh, you know, a basic JavaScript application, hand rolling it by yourself and reinventing things that you do over and over again. React handles a lot of that stuff uh, very nicely for us out of the box, okay? So uh, again, that's this tutorial right here. You can also go check out, uh, see the React version. I'll just add that here as well. So here's the example of the React version, okay? All right, so let me talk about an additional um, item that can be used with React. You know, I said, I said React is very popular with blockchain. It is very popular with blockchain. It's very popular with Ethereum. So let me talk about a second library that's often used with React, and that's Redux. Okay, so Redux is a way to manage state inside of React applications. A minute ago, I talked about how you can manage state inside of React natively with uh, its, you know, state object. And, you know, that's a way that you can store all the to-do items on this to-do list right here, okay? So Redux gives us a more robust implementation of this, right? The React version is, is, is good. Uh, you can use it for a lot of stuff. I've seen even pretty sophisticated applications just built with the React state object itself. Um, but if you want to take it a step further, check, definitely check out Redux. And I show you how to use Redux uh, to build an industrial strength professional blockchain application uh, inside my blockchain developer bootcamp, which you can find out more about on my website. Um, if you go to adaptuniversity.com and you click on the bootcamp or you just go to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp, uh, you can join a free training to find out how you can join my blockchain developer bootcamp. Okay? And inside of that, I, you know, we build a real world blockchain application powered by Ethereum smart contracts contracts. Um, we do the, you know, client side application in React. I show you all the tools that I use when I'm building real world projects, which includes React and also Redux. Okay. So that's why I mentioned that because I show you how to use Redux. And what Redux does, it allows you to basically create like a state database on the front end. Okay. And what that does is allows you to mirror your smart contract state on the client side. So what do I mean by that, right? So if you, uh, you know, created a, let's see here, a to-do list powered by the blockchain, 
well, let's, let's use a different example. Let's, let's use a cryptocurrency exchange, okay? So, you know, I it, inside of a cryptocurrency exchange, you have to store a lot of orders. So let's just look at that right now, right? Let's pull up an example. Here's an example of actually the cryptocurrency exchange that I teach you how to build inside the boot camp. And sorry, this image is a little blurry, but you'll get the idea. So basically, imagine if you had to store a bunch of orders, right? Inside of an order book on a cryptocurrency exchange. Like that's what all these are. And imagine those orders are managed by a smart contract. And the smart contract knows, you know, also like how much uh, of each asset you have in your wallet. And, you know, it needs to build all this information, right? So sometimes talking to smart contracts can be kind of slow and you want really fast access to uh, the data from the blockchain, right? Well, that's one really great thing about Redux is you can mirror your smart contract state on the client side with something like Redux. You basically create a state management database um, that allows you to do that, okay? So you can store information about your smart contract. You can store any data from the blockchain uh, all in one place for easy read-write access uh, inside your client-side applications. And you can quickly load your apps and all that kind of stuff, okay? So Redux is really great. i show you how to use it uh, when we, whenever we built this real-world cryptocurrency exchange project uh, inside the boot camp, okay? So I'll show you some actually examples of that inside the code. So here's uh, some of the source code from the Blockchain Developer Bootcamp. You can see that the, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty big project. Um, all the, you know, uh, codes written in these multiple components that are broken out. Uh, we do all the features where we, you know, build like these candlestick charts and uh, light to deposit funds and fulfill orders and see all your trades and all your, all your data here. Um, so it's pretty advanced stuff. Like I said, it's a real world project that I, I use all the, I'll show you all the tips and tricks that I use when I'm building real world projects. Uh, so as far as the Redux implementation, right, Redux is basically, uh, has this idea of a Redux store, right? So you configure your Redux store, you got to set it up and basically you use these things called reducers um, that look for actions. So whenever you do something in Redux, it triggers an action and you handle the result of those actions and uh, whenever, whatever you do updates the state. At least that's the intent. So basically, if I click a button, it triggers an action, and then there's a thing called a reducer waiting to handle that action. And whenever that it handles that action, it, it intends to update the state. So for example, like when I load, when I do something inside this project, right? If I create a new order, um, a reducer is, or sorry, it, it triggers an action, and then there's a reducer that handles that action, almost like a bus. Um, and it sees that an order was deposited and whenever, uh, it gets that event or action, it updates, you know, the state, which would be, uh, handle how many orders there are and, you know, the data about that order. And whenever that finishes, uh, you know, you can reload this component right here, which handles all the orders to fetch that order out of the state and put it in the order book. All right, so that's an overview of how you can use React to build a blockchain applications. Again, if you want a primer on how to do this, you can find this uh, tutorial on my website over at dappuniversity.com uh, on how to build you know, a to-do list with React and Ethereum, right? There's a full-length article, step-by-step -step code examples. And if you want to learn how to build a real-world blockchain project, um, with React and Redux and learn all my tips and tricks. Like I said, you can join my blockchain developer bootcamp. Um, just join this free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp and show you how you can join. All right, so I hope y'all like this video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.